When a country has a population of nearly 70 million people, you get an idea how vast a place it is. Now to see everything in Turkey is pretty impossible, but don't worry because just for you, I've shortlisted the top three things to see and do in Turkey. My first essential must-see takes us back in history to Ephesus. Located on the west coast of Turkey, Ephesus is one of the best preserved classical cities in the whole of the Mediterranean. And because there's so much to see and learn about here, I would seriously recommend that you book a tour with a guide and that way you get the most out of your day. So I decided to take advantage of my tour guide's insider information. So Ariel, why was Ephesus such an important city? Uh, well, Craig, uh, it was the cultural capital of its time with a 24,000 people amphitheater, which was the biggest. Also, St. Mary died here and she was named uh, Mother of God right here in Ephesus. Wow. So such an important city, now it's in ruins. What happened? Well, uh, the Kaistos River flooded with soil and residue, which blocked the harbor, which made the trade impossible. So the city lost its importance and kind of faded away. Wow, it's amazing. Next up on my list of essential places to visit is Pamukkale. It really is one of the most extraordinary natural wonders in Turkey and it's now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's about a three hour drive from resorts like Bodrum and Kushadasi, but it's well worth the trip. And now I'm here, it feels like I am on another planet. It is absolutely incredible. Now the main attraction here is the vast white cliff face with the scallop shaped basins filled with mineral water and these amazing petrified waterfalls. It actually looks as though it's made of crisp white snow or big fluffy balls of cotton, which is why Pamukkale is otherwise known as the Cotton Palace. The thermal spa dates back to the second century BC when the kings of the time realized the area possessed therapeutic mineral water. It stands as testimony that this was once a grand and royal site because the ruins of the baths, temples and other ornate monuments still remain. And you can even swim amongst them. The trip to Turkey isn't complete without soaking up some of Turkey's beautiful coastline in one of these, a traditional gullet boat. Now I picked mine up in Kushadasi, but you can get a number of different trips leaving from all of Turkey's main coastal resorts. Now some include lunch in the price and on others you even get a chance to go diving or do snorkeling. So that's my top three must-sees. Turkey is a fantastic choice, whether you're a water babe or maybe a bit of a history buff. And you know what? If you do just one thing off of that list, you will be so glad that you made the effort. Turkey is an enormous place, so deciding where to stay can be difficult. So do you flip a coin to choose a resort? Or do you spend hours researching where to go and feel like you're getting nowhere? Well, I've got the answer. Turkey's Aegean coast offers two very different resorts that will satisfy both holiday camps. Kushadasi in the north is a big, crowd-loving place, popular with active couples and young families looking for a resort-based holiday. While Bodrum, further south, is ideal for those people who want to discover the hidden parts of Turkey's Aegean coast. I'm in Kushadasi, where the main pastime is basking in the amazing sunshine. Now there's a great choice of beaches here, but the very best one is Kandinlar Beach, otherwise known as Ladies Beach. Kushadasi is also home to Adeland, which is Turkey's biggest aquapark. It only costs the equivalent of a few pounds to get in and it will keep the family entertained all day! So, Kushadasi is big, it's bustling and it's certainly popular with British tourists. But the antithesis to all this modern day fun in the sun is Ephesus, around 10 miles away. 
A day trip is the perfect escape from heavy Kushidasi and gives you the chance to polish up on your history. When I arrived here today, I was amazed to find out that this is in fact the world's largest archaeological site and dates back 2,000 years. It's incredible. Now I mentioned earlier there are two Aegean resorts, both with something very different to offer. But what makes Bodrum so special is it's where the Aegean meets the Mediterranean. That means in Bodrum you're getting the best of both seas. Widely regarded as the Saint-Tropez of Turkey, the marina sparkles with expensive yachts and there's a really authentic atmosphere to the shops, restaurants and bars. Kushidasi may well be the pleasure beach of Turkey, but head to Bodrum for more rustic and local charm. Bodrum doesn't have any beaches, but if you do want to sunbathe, there is a good choice at Gumbet, just a few miles away. The town's crowning glory has got to be the castle of St. Peter. It was built during the medieval times by the Knights of Rhodes to defend the bay against attack. And it's right here where you have the meeting of the Aegean and the Mediterranean seas. And by night, well, Bodrum is a great place to make new friends. <laughs> so there you go, culture by day and cocktails by night. I tell you what, I could definitely get used to this. I'm sure you could too. Turkey's Aegean and Mediterranean coasts are ideal for water sports. So when you're in mid-action, you get to enjoy beautiful coastlines and bathtub warm waters. Well, I've been talking to some of the guys here from the Water Sports Centre here on the beach and I've got to say, for me, what's so appealing about doing water sports in Turkey is it is so cheap. Compared to other parts of Europe, doing it here is much better value. Okay, so proof there that you don't have to spend much of your holiday money if you want to get involved. Well, I could not, could I? Okay, so, life jacket is secured, jet ski is waiting, let's go. It's good to know that all the major tourist beaches have water sports instructors and cater for beginners' needs right through to experts, whatever sport you try. But if you're really brave and you're staying near Eludinez, why not try paragliding? This is one of the world's best places to do it and you'll get to do a tandem jump from 2,000 feet. Whether you're up in the air or below the surface like me, Turkey will give you a new lease of life. And I'll tell you what, I will definitely be back.